Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Thank you all for clicking on this video. If you are someone who enjoys talking about movies, how about clicking that subscribe button? Today we're going to be talking about what I consider to be the top 15 chick flicks of the 2000s. <laughs> Yeah, this is the closest thing I could get to a tube top because I don't like tube tops, but it is technically I did not dress up when I did the 90s rankings and I totally regretted it I wanted to really get into the 2000s vibe and, and then top it off my head is too big So it doesn't quite fit me that look as small as it feels can one really have too much lip gloss but let's go ahead and get back to my rankings because this is not a makeup or a beauty channel I think I'm gonna take the little bangles off because they're making way way too much racket so just sit back relax get psyched about this list and let's go ahead and get on with number 15 2006's Aquamarine now this one is about two teenage girls well actually I feel like they were more like preteen. I don't know they look like they were nine it's a star Emma Roberts and the lovely Jojo they end up finding a mermaid once she washes up ashore after a crazy storm and the mermaid is played by Sarah Paxton you know she wants to go up on the land where the people are she wants to see she wants to see them dancing no i'm just playing you guys no but she does i want to prove to her father that true love truly does exist aquamarine actually gets the two girls to help her out is uh by basically saying you know if you help a mermaid you get a wish but let's move on to number 14 which is 2003's what a girl wants what a girl needs now this one honestly you guys i kept putting it and taking it off of my list i couldn't really quite decide but at the end i was just like you know what i truly like you so you're gonna be on my list so this one is about another teenage girl who is from san francisco who's played by amanda Bynes. she ends up uh, going to uh, england to go look for her father who the father doesn't even know she exists. Now her father is played by Colin Firth and he is Lord Henry Dashwood. And he is a member of the British upper class who is running for political office. Let's move on to number 13, which is 2002's The Hot Chick. Now this one is about Jessica Spencer who is played by Rachel McAdams. Now this is actually the first movie that I recall noticing Rachel McAdams because obviously the biggest one where she became Rachel McAdams was the notebook but before the notebook she was Jessica Spencer and she was the it girl of her high school she had the very cute boyfriend you know with the whole deal stealing these earrings that were cursed Jessica ends up dropping an earring Clive sees the earring puts it on and at night boom they swap bodies number 12 which would be my first tearjerker of my list and that would be 2002's a walk to remember starring mandy moore and shane west now in this lovely nicholas spark adapted movie we find landon who is the troublemaker we got the daughter of the priest here due to certain circumstances landon asked jamie for her help and all jamie asked was please don't fall in love with me. Jamie, of course, had a horrible secret. She had leukemia. She only had a couple years to live. If you have never seen a walk to remember, you guys, make sure you get your Kleenex. In 11th place would be 2000's Miss Congeniality starring Sandra Bullock. Now, this one is about a terrorist attack to bomb the Miss United States pageant. So, of course, enter the FBI and they have to find somebody to go undercover to enter the Miss United States pageant. And Miss Rhode Island likes to describe the perfect date, April 25th because it's not too hot and it's not too cold. Mind you, April 25th will always be a date that I will remember because that is my cousin's birthday. Moving on to number 10, you guys. Be 2002, sweet home Alabama. Will I ever get through a video without singing? Well, a ranking video without singing? I don't know. I think I already had an accent as well, right? Oh my God, look at me. <laughs> Dress up, accent, and singing? Wow, y'all are getting a show today, you guys. We have New York fashion designer Melanie, who is played by Reese Witherspoon. Now, Melanie ends up finding herself in quite a pickle when she becomes engaged to the most uh, eligible bachelor, Andrew, or McDreamy, or never seen Grey's Anatomy, Patrick Dempsey. Now, Melanie has quite a few secrets of her own, see? When she was in high school, she got married to Jake, who was her uh, childhood sweetheart, basically. Now, high school, childhood sweetheart and um he's played by josh lucas don't you just feel terrible for melanie she is stuck in the middle of this very hot sandwich i mean <laughs> 
I will take either slice, girlfriend. You give me whichever. Punch number nine, which is 2003's How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days. Now, this is about an advice columnist, Andy, who's played by Kate Hudson, and a executive, I think, of marketing, maybe? I I'm assuming because he's like, think about it. Frost. Frost. A little bit of frost everywhere. Anyways, um, Ben, who's played by Matthew McConaughey. Basically, these two characters make a bet. So Andy for her column is uh, going to write about how to lose a guy in 10 days and Ben just for the fun of it because he is basically like this bachelor this oh I can make any woman fall in love with me. His bet is he can basically make any woman fall in love with him in 10 days. The eighth place would be 2001's Legally Blonde again starring Reese Witherspoon. Here we follow Elle Woods but all Elle really wants in life is to be Mrs. Warner Huntington III. Um, unfortunately, Warner does not quite feel the same because given her appearance and given that he is now moving on to Harvard Law School, uh, he feels and his family feel that he should definitely be involved with somebody more appropriate. Of course, while Ellen is all up in her feelings and in order for Warner to love me, I need to get into Harvard. So uh, she goes into her journey to try to get into Harvard Law because like it's hard. Unfortunately for Elle, when she does arrive to Harvard and finds Warner, Warner has moved on. Not only moved on, but is engaged to Vivian, who is played by Selma Blair. Elle is just trying to win Warner back. And when she tells Warner that she's trying to apply for this prestige internship with the professor, he basically tells her that she's not smart enough. And this is when Elle realizes that no matter what she does, that she's never going to be good enough for him. In seventh place would be 2008's The House Bunny, uh, starring uh, Anna Ferris playing Shutter. This is around the same time that The Girls Next Door used to be on E. I used to love, love that show. And of course, uh, Hugh Hefner and the three girls uh, have a little cameo in this film. When Cassandra, the very jealous playmate, uh, tricks Shelly into leaving the Playboy Mansion because she tells her that she is too old to be a playmate and she stumbles across this sorority Zeta after Zeta which is basically the loser sorority ends up being their house mother and basically kind of shows them the ropes on how to throw parties and how to attract guys and kind of also find their own in a very hilarious way now in sixth place a lot of you may hate me where I'm gonna put this very classic film but it's gonna be 2004's Mean Girls. So this does star of course Lindsay Lohan, uh, we got Rachel McAdams back being part of the plastics. So this movie is about Katie and her family moving uh, from Africa to Illinois and this is basically Katie's first official like public school encounter. So it's really funny when uh, she kind of is comparing the school and everything that's going on with like the wildlife and everything. She finds herself sitting down at the plastics table and you know being accepted as accepted as you can be from that group and it's Mean Girls you guys. Now let me know where you have Mean Girls on your list. Go ahead and move on to number five. We're almost there you guys. Which is another Lindsay Lohan movie 2003's Freaky Friday. Um, I just really love love this movie so much. I've reached watched this so many times. I actually watch this more than I do Mean Girls. I just I love it you guys. Um, it also stars Jamie Lee Curtis. Also like the hot chick, they basically swap bodies as well. In this case, it was the Chinese lady who swapped their bodies because they were just fighting and bickering so much. Unfortunately for her, she was not aware that Jamie Lee was going to be getting married that weekend. So we're trying to figure out how the heck we're going to reverse this curse. And we also have the hotness that is Chad Michael Murray. Move on to number four, which is O1's The Princess Diaries, starring Anne Hathaway. So we follow teenage Mia, who is, of course, a shy girl, who is, of course, a dorky girl, because, you know, we always have to have those. A little thing that she was unaware of was that she is, in real life, a real life princess of Genovia. And she has an awesome grandmother, the queen played by Miss Julie Andrews. Gotta make up all that mess up and training her to become the next queen of Genovia. Three am I at now? This is the last tearjerker on my list. It is beloved. It is Nicholas Sparks. I think you know, say it with me, The Notebook where everybody fell in love with Rachel McAdams and Ryan Gosling. I mean, what? 
Noah and Allie. I mean, what a perfect love story, you guys. We're in the 40s. We're in South Carolina. We have teenage love. We have teenage forbidden love. It is the notebook. And I don't think like me girls like to get into it because it's the notebook. If you have not seen this movie, what is wrong with you? What is why? Get your Kleenex. Take your makeup off. And watch that movie. It's so good, you guys. And second place would be 2000. Bring it on, you guys. Cheerleader movie. We got Kristen Dunst. We got Gabrielle Union. We are following the Toros from Rancho Carne High School. And they are the champions six years in a row. Now, this year, we do get... Torrens, who is the new captain and she ends up recruiting a new cheerleader because they were in need because they hurt one of their cheerleaders and while they were showing missy the routine missy ended up saying um i know y'all didn't do this routine y'all be stealing y'all thieves and goes and shows Torrens that this uh routine that y'all are doing is actually from the south Campton Clovers. Now we gotta get these uh, Toros to uh, get a new routine, make it to nationals, and really like win these things, their own choreography. And I'm going with a stolen routine. It's coming in in first place, you guys. A lot of you are gonna be like, really, Stephanie? That's what you have on there? Yes, you guys, this is what I have on here. I freaking love this movie, you guys. If this movie's playing on TV, I don't care if there's five minutes remaining, I will watch those five last minutes. But this is 2004's 51st Date, starring Adam Sandler and Drew Barrymore. Unfortunately for Henry, Lucy does suffer from a short-term memory loss. Basically, at the end of the day, her um, brain resets. Um, this is due to a car accident that she had had several years back. So, literally, Henry, every day, finds a way to talk to Lucy and have Lucy to fall in love with them. Every single day, you guys. I mean, how cute is that i mean come on you guys why would i not have this as my number one can i have that i mean i could probably have that but i would be like ew no go away from me because i'm not romantic <laughs> it's like i want it but i don't want it you guys okay don't judge me this is my list you guys this is what i consider to be the top 15 chick flicks of the 2000s and um i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you guys enjoy my little fashion disaster that is the 2000s but either way it goes you guys let me know down below which are to be the best chicklets of the early 2000s of course my list is not the right list it's just my list my own personal opinion oh my god was i showing stuff i hope not. this is why i don't wear two tops you guys i don't got nothing to hold them up with all right, you guys, that's all I have for you guys. Don't forget to give this video a like, subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified each time I post something new. And until next time, you guys, I'll see you guys at concessions. Bye.